Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy first day of September, September 1st, 2023. And we are on the verge of Labor Day weekend. So stocks are liking the jobs report that came out. So... Looking at uh, Nasdaq's up almost 100 points, dial up 162, and uh, that's the P up 26. Bob is up 2%. Everything else is pretty much a percent, up a percent or, or, or lower or flat. So we'll have to see what happens today if we get some bullish, if we're bullish going into the holiday weekend. Uh, it's Friday before a holiday weekend. So a lot of times you find a lot of chop on days like this. So, um, I'm just gonna probably try to get in a couple of trades and call it a, call it a day. I don't want to get caught up in a in a chop, but uh, we'll have to wait and see here. And um, we'll trade the, I trade on Fridays, I trade the seven DTE option chain, not the zero. So I'll say that up front here just to make sure, make sure you're not on the zero DTE. It moves really fast. So there is the bell. Tesla, JPM, and Disney starting out in the red. Everything else is pretty much green. VIX down a um, little, little over 2%. Morning, Bumblebee. Morning, Krish. What a great August it was. So hope to hope to get a green day here as I start September. <clears throat> So I'll be leading the live stream nine days in September. So I will be out for a week because I'll be in New Mexico off the grid. Tesla just went green. JPM has gone green. So Disney, only thing in the red that I've got. Coming down.
ABBA up a little over two and a half percent, getting strong. Good, pu good pushing down, AMD pushing up. So getting a little bit of a mix between red bars and green bars here. It looked like power hour was good yesterday. <clears throat> Square pushing up through yesterday's high. So AMD really pushing up and NVIDIA coming down. It's interesting. They usually are similar. <clears throat> VIX down to 13.2. So. so this week it's really come down quite a bit. Our second red bar here, so we'll look for a volume runner. Be nice to get an upside volume runner on a Friday. But it looks like, man, most of the, most everything turned in a red bar. Netflix and Meta here are green bars. So again, I'll, I always watch after about fifteen minutes. On a Friday, I'm always watching to see like how, what the range is in price movement because uh, Fridays are typically I don't it doesn't move as much and then especially on, if you if you compound that with a holiday weekend coming up so. <clears throat> VIX uh, is coming up now. Uh, it's only down about one and a half percent. Tesla falling. So we got a little bit of a little bit of a sell off here in some of these stocks. Tesla getting uh might get a might get a big volume bar there. Roku coming down, looks like it might get a big volume bar.
Yeah, NVIDIA over halfway there. So might have some options for downside volume runners. Yeah, Roku's coming down to this pivot. So it's Tesla. So Roku um, is going to get there. So Roku, again, remember we're on the 7 DTE. I would trade the 80 puts. If it bounces here a little bit. Tesla as well. Tesla, I would trade the 252.5 puts. I'm going to jump in Tesla here. Build at 480 in Tesla. You probably get a better fill than me. Roku hasn't bounced much. You know, Tesla had popped up there a little bit. I would close half my Tesla at 5.30. Yeah, no, bo no bounce in Roku. I got filled at 4.80. It wasn't the best fill, and it actually went higher. It's, you could have got a better fill than me on that. Yeah, not a bad idea, Chris. Yeah, Roku didn't bounce at all, so. I'd like to see Tesla push back down through this pivot. Yeah, it actually, I saw it at 475, actually, Tesla. See, I'm a little worried Tesla bounced up off this pivot, but in, man, video, Roku really flushing there. Darn it. But see, Roku just didn't, it just didn't give an entry. AMD was close as well for a downside volume runner. Uh, Tesla was 252.5 puts. Oh, yeah, it wasn't not, not AMD. I'm, I meant Boeing. I'm sorry. Boeing was close. And Roku, if it would have given us any bounce at all. Filled at 530 to close half of Tesla. So I don't like that it hasn't pushed through the pivot, though. I have for some mighty 90s here. Yeah, Boeing... Yeah, it didn't get there in the toss. So I wouldn't I wouldn't say Boeing was a downside volume runner. <laughs> Roku would have been the one if it if it would have popped up like Tesla, I definitely would have gotten in, but As of right now, I don't necessarily like the uh, price action in Tesla. I need to get it needs to get down below that pivot, and stay there.
Roku getting another big bar. So if Roku pops up kind of close to this pivot, I might try to get in for a downside volume runner. See Tesla. It's kind of popping back up. Yeah, Tesla's back up to close to where I entered. <laughs> Roku popping up a little bit. Take a look at that. It's still, I do, we do the 79 puts in Roku. And try to get filled at a buck 60. Filled at a buck 60. 79 puts in Roku. And you can definitely get a better fill than I got. Yeah. It's kind of thinking about reloading in Tesla. But I'm not going to. Close half, uh, close half my Roku at. I'm gonna try to get out of it now. Actually, buck eighty. Filled it a buck eighty. Let's get out of half there. Tesla. Need to probably cut another one. Get out of another Tesla at 580. Yeah, it would have been a good reload in Tesla. I just was doing Roku and didn't have time to put it in. Ah, shoot, Bumblebee. And yeah, remember, I sometimes I just, I'll just, you don't have to get my exact fills. You can get within a nickel or two. It's, it's not a bad thing to do. Roku, going to get out of another Roku here. At a buck ninety five. Now it's close to getting out of another Tesla, I believe. Build at five eighty to get out of another Tesla. UCOM had a big volume bar to the downside. So did Lucid if you want something smaller.
We got two Teslas left. NVIDIA may be getting a big volume bar here to the downside. Ooh, NVIDIA falling. I would think there'd be a bounce sometime soon. So I haven't seen any mighty 90s. Oh, I got filled in uh, got filled in Ro Roku at a buck ninety five. Get out of another Roku. Filled at two fifteen to get out of another Roku. Yeah, it's kind of looking like a down day, but the Dow is still up 135. That's why I was like, man, is this, at what point is this going to bounce? I just don't want to be short when it bounces. Yeah, NVIDIA got another. So if NVIDIA comes up to yesterday's low, it might get short. No good mighty 90 signals, so still just on these downside volume runners. I've got an order in at 6.30 in Tesla to cut another. Meta? I don't know. It's kind of flushing like the rest of them. Amazon just bleeding lower. Man, if I would have added back into Tesla, I already, I, I, already, I had six contracts on and then I got rid of three. I was considering adding three more to get back to six, but I just didn't have time to do it. So NVIDIA popping up a little bit. I want to see it pop up a little bit more, though. Get out of another Roku. Filled at 225 to get out of another Roku. Four Roku's left. Tesla popping up to that pivot. So Tesla I might reload there. It's coming back down before I could get in. Let's see. Tesla be the same 252 half puts. Man, come on, just pop up a little bit more. J 
I'd jump in at five fifty. Five fifty five. Build at five fifty five. So Tesla, I just added. I had two contracts left, so I just went back in four to get it back to six, which is my original. And I would get out of half at 610. So if, if Tesla looks like it wants to pop up through this pivot, I may just cut it. I have four Roku's left. It's pretty much sitting about where I got out of my last contract, though. Still haven't seen any good, really mighty 90s. Huh, Bumblebee, I don't know. I guess maybe just try adjusting it by a nickel. If you don't get filled on my fill. But, yeah, like I said, a lot of times people get better fills than I do, so. I, I actually had it at 550 and then I adjusted it to 555. So I actually adjusted it a tick for me to get filled. So it's popping up now, Tesla is, so I want to watch it. Like I said, I figured this was going to bounce at some point. So you definitely could have got a better fill now. Would be low risk if you just if you got in, probably could have got in at about five thirty. Get out of another Roku here at two forty. Going on mighty nineties. Riot blockchain had a big bar to the downside. Nvidia popping back up to yesterday's low. So that, that could be a potential good downside volume runner. And if it blows up above this, that's where I would get out. So NVIDIA, I would try, oh, wow, those are, those are some big options. Let's pass on NVIDIA for right now. 7 DTE is at the money is about 10 bucks. Yeah, so if you get in Tesla now, and if it pushes above right here, this pivot, you could just bail on it for a small loss. If I wasn't already in two trades, I probably, I probably um, filled it filled it two forty to get out of another Roku. But if I wasn't in two trades already, I probably would have gotten short Nvidia. It's just that I'm already short two, and that doesn't mean I can't get short a third. But I mean, I just figure it's going to bounce at some point here. I got three Roku's left. I 
and Baidu approaching highs of day. See, Tesla just couldn't get past that pivot. I, I, I probably could have waited a little bit more before I added, but... Netflix coming up to highs of day. Maybe getting a potential mighty 90 short. Okay, so we're we're kind of you know at about what five, ten, fifteen, twenty, about thirty minutes in. So this is where you know on a Friday, oh yeah, Netflix my ninety short. It's like, do is it just going to start chopping or what? Yeah, so if Netflix pushes up a little bit more, I might just uh, jump in a short mighty ninety. You could have gotten in right at the end of this bar. That would have been great. Tesla coming down to lows of day. So is it going to push lows? Hopefully so. Again, I got an order at 630. Filled at 630. Close half of Tesla. Yeah, so that Netflix would have been a nice mighty 90. That's a pretty pretty good mighty 90 setup there, guys. Roku coming down to this pivot. Yeah, so it's like, is are we going to chop now or are we still going to get price movement? See, Netflix popped back up. So that's interesting. And then Netflix just popped up through highs of day. Oh, Netflix. So things might be getting strong here. Wow. Netflix. So Netflix uh, has a mighty 90 here. Might jump. Yeah, yeah I'll jump in at uh, 440 puts. Try to get Phil. Ah, it's coming down a little bit. Darn it. Push back up. Push back up. It's a pretty good Mighty 90 setup, really. Try to get filled at 560. Roku popping up, up on that pivot. Roku had a, uh, that's a that's a big volume bar, another big volume bar to the downside there for Roku. Darn it, missed that Netflix. If I could have gotten filled right up at the top there, that would have been outstanding. So I wonder if Roku is just going to start chopping above that pivot. Does that? I, I just kind of want to get out of it. Kind of 
Come on, Netflix. Get strong. Just for another minute. Then you can come back down. I mean, it's a good, it's a good setup based on there was good volume pop right here prior to this previous bar. So uh, that's why. And then if it pushes up even past that, that's when I really like it. Got to watch this bar. It's not going to get as big as the first though. I think I'm going to jump in here, and adjust my fill. Filled at 580 in Netflix. So if it pushes up anymore, I can always add to it. That was the 440 puts. In Roku, if it pushes up any higher, I'm just going to close it out. Yeah, he definitely, definitely could have got a better fill than me in Netflix. But I, I kind of wanted to get in. Damn, it could have got a lot better. Could have got a lot better fill than me. If it gets to 520, I would add to it. I got three Teslas left. Three Roku's left. Yeah, see NVIDIA getting in at that uh, right up yesterday's low. That's what I was talking about. Hopefully some of you got in on that. But options were pretty big. That's why I didn't because I was already in on two. Netflix is sitting about where I entered. If Tesla can't push through lows, I may just cut it and take the profits. You know, on a Friday, it's like if you can get if you can have a green day on a Friday and take your profits, you know, it's something to be said about that. So I would add to my Netflix at 520. Tesla's still struggling. Amazon rolling back over. So if Tesla looks like it just can't push through lows, I may just just take profits because it's pr I got pretty good profits on it. Again, this is where you might start seeing chop right on a Friday, especially for a holiday. If it pushes through lows, I'll just continue to scale out. I mean, we do have some two-way action going on. <clears throat> we got some strong stocks. You know, Baba's up three and a quarter percent. <clears throat> yeah, same thing. Yep, same with Roku. If it if it want, looks like it wants to push any higher, you know, it could it could come up to this pivot and then roll back over. But I, I don't want to hold it for that. That's another one with only three contracts left. That. I just soon cut it. Good profits there as well. The VIX, interestingly enough, it's coming down to lows of day. So
So I'm going to close Roku, I believe. 79 puts. Yep. Well, let me, let me let this bar finish and see what happens. Sometimes you'll get a little two bar or three bar pop up and then it rolls back over. Add to my Netflix here. Build at 540 to add to Netflix. So I had to I had to adjust it a little bit more than I wanted. I wish I could have gotten in at about 530. So I adjusted it to 540. Just chasing it a little bit. Definitely chased it. Okay, so this, this would be a this would be a critical five minutes here to see what happens with these. Are we getting a bounce? Or are we getting a rollover? Tesla, I want to stay below that pivot. Vic's coming down, though, man. Yep, sure was. Bouncing a little bit now, though. Need to see a rollover real quick. Thing about it is, it's not moving much. Like it's a tight range, so it's not taking much from me on the bounce up. Really, really would love to see Tesla just stay below this pivot. So if Tesla was to come back down to lows of day, I probably would just cut it. Like. Because, like I said, this is my, where you start seeing chop. In Netflix, I just want to get two red bars out of it. Oh, Tesla popped up. Okay, so it popped up above the pivot. Let's see if it's dipping its toe in and then getting pushed back down or whether or not it's going to continue. And Baidu, really strong. Wow. Yeah, Roku. Darn it. Roku's at uh, about a buck eighty right now. I got in at a buck sixty. A guy could probably add to it here, actually, but look at Amazon popping up. See, Tesla's still struggling. Netflix is not. I'm going to just not look at my Netflix for now because I'm waiting for two red bars. I mean, it can't it can't just keep going up. It's going to have to roll over at some point. And it's up 10 points. Wow. Roblox, Roblox through highs of day. AMD getting the highs of day. 
Damn, Netflix, man. Real good, mighty 90 setup, man. Yeah, this is where your mindset is tested when it's doing this. And Tesla, like I said, it just, as long as it keeps getting forced down at that pivot. It's been a pretty good run up for a lot of stocks, though. I mean, some of them have had like five or six straight green bars. I do even had a mighty 90 short. See how Meta's pushing through that pivot. That's why I, I, I don't want to see Tesla do that. Roku really pushing up now. You know, Roku had this had this big red bar. I guess then it had a big green bar. I kind of didn't see that. So we can get a couple red bar pullback, I probably would just close out of everything. It's wild how it had a such a such a flush and now it's had such a push up. Sometimes you just got to be patient. VIX is down a little over 3%. Just need two red bars out of Netflix. Yeah, look at Tesla. It really hasn't moved much in the last 30 minutes. Tesla's or Netflix is getting close to where I added. Man, Roku. Can't tell if we're getting a, a bounce here or if we're going to get a pullback now. If it's going to continue up or get a pullback. I have an order in at 590 to close half of my Netflix.
Yeah, just need two red bars. You know, so if, if Netflix can get two red bars and come down to this pivot, then it can bounce all at once. I just I don't see Tesla going down below through lows the way the market's getting strong. Watch Tesla closely. So we're going to get one red bar out of Netflix. Can we get two? Can we get two? That's the question. Roku coming up to this pivot. If it goes through the pivot, I'm just going to close it. It's already above where I initial my initial entry. I probably should have cut it a long time ago, but barely red bar, barely in Netflix. And Baidu, on a freaking mission. That's nuts. Only good thing about Roku is I only had three contracts left. But, man, it's really gotten some... Nice, nice pop up here. Netflix is almost setting up to be an upside continuation runner. So if it can, you know, this nice push up, it's kind of pausing. And Roku's going up. So I'm gonna get out of my Roku. That was a not a good, not a fun way to end it. Filled it a buck thirty-eight. Man, my misery in Roku. Gosh darn it. I'm sure it'll come down, you know, it's at that pivot and but I lost lost a little bit of profit there. Tesla as well, you know, it's just not, it's just chopping. So I think I'm going to cut my Tesla too and just take the profits and not be greedy. Build at 535. Close Tesla. It's just, it just hasn't gone anywhere. So I'm just taking profits. And Netflix, like I said, it looks like it's going to get strong here. It looks, it's setting up for an upside continuation runner. If you want to continue to trade, it might be a decent one. And then if it comes to get long, and if it comes down below right here, you just bail on it. I was kind of hoping to at least get filled on half of my Netflix with a move down. Yeah, look at Roku popped up through that pivot. So tough, mighty 90 in Netflix. It pushed up above our ad.
Now it's just asleep. You see the VIX is down three and a third percent. I was hoping to get more of a pullback in Netflix. I look at Tesla now, starting to fall down. Look at Tesla come down. You rat. That's all right. That was a winning trade in Tesla. So I'm going to get out of my Netflix here. You see bar is closing. So I'm going to give it just a second. See what this does here. But you can close it if you want. I was going to see if we could get one little more push down to here. Yeah. Look at Tesla. Gosh darn it, man. Oh. Take this out. Really fake this out, Tesla. Yeah, so so Netflix, I should be out of it. I'm I'm kind of being greedy here. To see if it can get me one more. You know, a lot of times on an upside continuation runner, you'll get a, a three bar pullback. So I was waiting to see if it could give me one more red. See you later, Bumblebee. Yep, have a great holiday. And closing uh, Netflix. Build at 520. So. Look at Roku. It's tough to trade, man, when it does that. So, bummer of a mighty 90. Uh, now Netflix will probably fall. But, you know, I closed it out. Guy gave me two red bars. That was a, what I was supposed to do. So, anyway, hope everybody hit. Well, actually, hold on. Before we go, uh, let's take a look at the live stream. So, let me pull this over here. So no trading on uh, Monday, and then I'll be here next Tuesday and Wednesday, and then you'll have Steve for three days, and then me. And then uh, here's – I'm actually leave on the 14th to go to New Mexico, so there will be no live stream that week. And Steve will be with you, no live stream. I fly back – I get home on the 21st, and I'll be back on the 22nd. So I'll see everyone next Tuesday – or on Tuesday. You guys have a great – Labor Day weekend, be safe, be tough, make good choices, no excuses, never quit. Talk to you later. Peace.